New tonight at 5, the truck driver accused of killing a Loudoun County deputy is in court. Investigators say Christopher Savannah was high on marijuana at the time of that deadly crash in February. That suspect is facing several charges. Sergeant Chris Jenkins died in that crash. Authorities say that officer was blocking traffic to pull a ladder off of I-75 when that trucker failed to stop. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan joins us with emotional testimony today from court. Cole. Robin John, I just stepped out of the courtroom where the hearing is still ongoing behind me. It was emotional testimony today as we heard uh, from officers first on scene who saw the, the events unfolding there and the Jenkins family faced Christopher Savannah for the first time here in court. The first trooper on scene with the Tennessee Highway Patrol was first to take the stand around one o'clock this afternoon. He testified about what he saw there on scene and talked about um, also knowing Christopher Savannah when he says he when he pulled up onto the scene he says officers from the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office were reacting they were in tears some of them were throwing up he said he said witnesses to this crash were crying and he says it was a scene like he hadn't ever worked before. Take a listen. For lack of better terms, it, it was chaotic, to say the least. I don't wish upon anyone having to see what I saw that day. Okay. Also this afternoon, we heard testimony of the drugs found in the cab of that truck. Also the problems with the rig, including two brakes of 10 uh, having issues out of service and a flat tire there as well. There were also, of course, problems, as we've reported before, with Christopher Savannah's commercial driver's license. Back out here live, I can tell you this hearing is still ongoing. The defense attorneys are asking THP troopers who testify about their knowledge of Jenkins. Jenkins, of course, worked in the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office for the better part of two decades, so some of these officers who worked the scene of his crash knew him personally as well. The defense attorney asking questions about that and also asking questions about exactly how these field sobriety tests are conducted. We're on what we believe to be the last witness of the day and then closing arguments for the judge. We'll bring you an update coming up at 6.